Welcome to the Superbook Show. Today we're on location at the Virginia Zoo. And we'll be learning about sloth, both the sin of sloth and those adorable animals of the same name. So, Mia, what is sloth? It means laziness, which is why the slow-moving creatures name that, right? Well, you're partly right. The sin of sloth isn't just laziness, it's spiritual laziness. R right. So, what does that mean? Sloth is about the things you should do but don't do because they take too much effort or they're inconvenient. Gotcha. Like reading the Bible or praying or volunteering to help others. Exactly. So there could be laziness involved or we're putting other less important things first. Like binge watching TV or spending hours on social media. And there are other things that we do to keep us too busy to develop our relationship with God. Like after school activities or hang out with friends. Yes, but there's nothing wrong with those things unless they become an excuse to put God in last place. I know I mess up sometimes, but I still want to keep God in first place. But what about the animals? They are so adorable. Yes, they're very adorbs, and they've gotten a bad reputation because of their name. But God had a purpose in creating the sloths, and there's a lot we can learn from them. Let's go get up close and personal. Let's go. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? I'm Tara. This is Casey, our two-toed or two-fingered sloth. I heard you guys had some questions about her. Yes. Yeah, all right. So on average, how much does a sloth weigh? How much does a sloth weigh? So it really depends on the species. There are six different species of sloth, and the two-toed or two-fingered sloths tend to be bigger and larger than the three-toed, so which are smaller. Casey here weighs um, 8.4 kilograms, which is roughly about 19 pounds, um, but they can typically weigh anywhere from 10 pounds to 20. Oh, nice. Gotcha. What is the average lifespan? So an average lifespan of a sloth um, in their natural environment is upwards of about 30 years, but when they're in human care um, in a zoological facility like ours, they can live upwards of about 40 years. So when sloths aren't on trees, like do they have any other form of transportation besides this? So they typically live their entire life upside down. They'll climb upside down. They don't typically free hang like this. That's kind of a misconception. They do like to rest um, on things or in the V's or crevice of a tree. Um, they'll climb down once a week to go to the bathroom. Um, they're very awkward on land. It's when they're most vulnerable to predators. They can't walk very well. Um, but they can swim super good. So they will do that. They'll fall from a tree. They can hold their breath for a really long time and they'll swim to cool themselves off or to escape predation. Oh, what is a typical diet? Them. In their natural environment, they typically will eat whatever's next to them. So again, depending on the species. So three-toed sloths are a little more picky. They eat um, cecropia trees only. Two-toed sloths have a more varied diet. They'll eat the leaves. They love flowers, hibiscus flowers. Um, they'll eat fruits and lots of leaves. Um, here, Casey gets um, leafy greens, lots of different types of browse, vegetables, fruits. Um, vegetables are her favorite though. So what happens if like the sloth is moving this way and another sloth is moving this way and they just like So collide? typically they don't live in um, groups. So they are a solitary animal. They live alone. Um, males are kind of territorial. So you never really see a lot of males in one place. Um, females will tolerate each other, meaning several females can live in one tree and they don't um, bother each other, but they don't rely on each other. They don't groom each other. There's no social structure. They don't rely on each other for food. Um, so typically you wouldn't have sloths running in together because they pretty much stay away and have their space. Um, but if they were females, nothing would happen. If they were males, there might be a little fight. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> So if you were to look at a map, where are they located? Where do you find them? Um, rainforest in Central and South America, all over. And again, sometimes that's species specific. Um, the pygmy three-toed sloth, which is the critically endangered species, is only native to one island off the coast of Panama. Wow. Um, but two-toed sloths can be found variably throughout the rainforest. Wow. So I'm going to give you her mush balls, which are her favorite. Mush balls? Sloths don't have any teeth in the front. So if it's small, you can put it in her mouth and not worry about getting bit. If you get a little sloth slobber, I have sanitizer at the end. So don't worry, these are her favorite. Thank so, you. You're welcome. It's just banana, and so it's nothing oh. gross. It just feels gross. <laughs> it feels interesting. You guys are feeding her mush balls, which are one of her favorite treats. Um, it's just a combination of like a canned primate diet, um, banana, and wheat germ. So it's really healthy for her, but she loves them. So they're her special treat. 
<laughs> so how old is she? Casey is 23. She had a birthday at the end of April. She's 23 years old. Wow. Yes. You guys see that long tongue coming out when she's eating? So that's one of the similarities they have to their cousins. If you know what they're related to, it would be um, our armadillos and ant eaters. Really? Yes. And so they have a really long tongue that you wow. don't see that often, but they do, just like those guys. Wow. And what type of relationships do they have with other animals? So these guys, again, like we said earlier, they're not social animals, they're solitary, but they have a whole lot of animals that rely on them. So because these guys are so sedentary, um, they sit a lot, they rest a lot, they sleep about 10 to 12 hours a day, but they rest about 22 hours a day. Um, they, algae grows on them. So if you looked at one of their pieces of hair or fur under the microscope, it would look like a corkscrew of a screw um, and algae grows on that. Um, and within the algae, is a um, whole ecosystem. So moths and beetles, all kinds of bugs that live on them and rely on them. Um, and then the algae gives them their number one defense mechanism, which is camouflage. So it's a symbiotic relationship. Wow. It is. I know you said she's 23. How long has she been here? She's been here at the Virginia Zoo a little over two years. Okay. Well, thank you so yeah, much yeah, for allowing us to come here sure. and ask these questions. It's been a lot of yeah, fun. it's been awesome. <laughs> sure, no problem. Wow, the sloth sure is a unique creature. Well, did you learn anything from our visit about our relationship with God? Yeah, I learned that it's good to slow down and be present. It helps us enjoy God's blessings more. And it doesn't hurt to be still either. We can hear from God better when we're quiet. Psalm chapter 46, verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. Rest is also good for your health. Another thing I realized is how just easy to approach the sloths where I think that's how God wants us to be, is able to show love and be approachable. One more thing I learned about is perspective. You know how they can turn their heads 270 degrees? Yeah. Well, that really helps them to see the big picture. Well, we can't turn our heads 270 degrees, but we can take a step back when we need help. We can ask God to help us see other points of view from people we trust. The sin of sloth, not good. The two or three toad sloth, awesome sloth. His word is forever alive. Thanks for joining us to meet Casey at the Virginia Zoo. No need to remind you not to be slothful in liking and subscribing. But do slow down enough to download our Superbook Bible app and check out superbook.cbn.com. Bye. Bye. Oh. My stomach hurts. I want more than a donut. I'm gonna go home and get Taco Bell. DoorDash. Like hang out with, dude. <laughs> I can't um, see you. Back to one. Okay. T t t t t. Are you smiling? Yay. Yes. Bye. See you next time. Oh, okay. Was it not see you next time? <laughs> oh my god. She played. Where's the photo? That's about my ear. And now we get to feed her. She's ready for food though. Let me see if I can give her something <laughs> before. Her she like smells it. the mush balls, I'm telling you.